Good morning. I'd like to thank the president of WWF and the WWF organization for this special recognition. I'm incredibly honored to be mentioned for my activism at such an important conference for the conservation of our planet. Less than a mile behind me is home to one of the most diverse marine ecosystems found anywhere, the Belize Barrier Reef. It still amazes me to think that one day there were ships so close to my home searching for oil and people willing to risk it all for money. I had never seen dolphins in the wild before, and if these big seismic ships hurt them, I may never get to see them. I was angry and I wanted to help. But hashtag school, hashtag homework, and hashtag my parents were going to the town meeting without me. This was the moment I realized I could use social media to let people know they needed to actually do something. Never underestimate the power of an angry child on the internet yelling at the world, leave my dolphins alone. My town is fierce though. Within hours of the ships being spotted, hundreds came together and caused an uproar, shutting them down. There would be no offshore oil drilling in our waters this time. What about later though? This became such an overwhelming thought for our little nation by the sea. Discussions about it flooded social media, and people demanded a moratorium against offshore oil. I went on my own quest to learn about the Belize Barrier Reef. I snorkeled it north to south on a week-long sailing adventure to learn as much as I could about it. I am by no means an expert on the reef now, but wow, I experienced an entirely different world under there. I finally got to see my dolphins. That was pretty cool. I learned how much we depend on coral reefs, like literally, for oxygen. The reef needed us to fight for it, and thanks to WWF's Saving Our Shared Heritage campaign, this fight became global, and 450,000 emails were sent to our Prime Minister. Of course, I had to write my own letter, and I was fortunate enough to deliver it along with the WWF team. I live where people dream of vacationing, where dolphins, sea turtles, and manatees share their home with us. As Belizeans, we do not take the Belize Barrier Reef for granted. It's why I cannot accept this recognition without mentioning the people of Belize, and especially my San Pedrano Sierra and Burgers Key. I am very proud of us, Belize. A special thank you from all of us here in Belize to all the people around the world who share our story and help save our World Heritage Site. Together, our voices were louder and Belize now has a moratorium against offshore oil in place. Big panda hugs to Reese, Miss Nadia, and Elena from WWF for your constant encouragement for my activism. Mom and Dory, without your support, I wouldn't be here. I'd like to encourage other children around the world to stand up for the future of our planet. Your parents and grandparents have enjoyed a beautiful home. You and your children deserve to do the same. Destroying our natural resources for money and power is not okay. To our leaders and grown-ups, you are responsible for the planet we will live on when you're gone. Please make it one you can be proud to leave behind for us. Thank you.